biggest threat to the Chiefs, um, I, I think, are the Bills probably in the AFC right now. But I don't see the Browns as a threat to the Chiefs. And there's no – there's really uh, – it's not a slight against the Browns. The Browns are a good and ascending team. And I'm happy to say Baker Mayfield is playing well and is playing better than just an average quarterback, which after a while I said, okay, maybe he's just an average quarterback. Nope, he's playing better than that. And that's good for him. I'm happy to see it and good for the Browns. However – before you get lofty ideas about beating the Chiefs, how about beating one of the other two teams in your own division that you must beat? Forget the Bengals, right? You gotta beat, if you're the Browns, you've got to beat the Steelers, you've got to beat the Ravens. They're 0-3 against those teams. They'll have another shot at Steelers last game of the season, but they have yet to beat either the Ravens or the Steelers. You're talking about beating the Chiefs? Look, I get the point about the run attack, right? The, the run game is real. They get good run blocking. They have Kareem Hunt and, obviously, Nick Chubb. They're very good there, and they know how to use it. Here's the thing. Running the run game, basically, against a team like the Chiefs, what that's really about, not just testing their run defense, but it's about time of possession. You want to keep Patrick Mahomes off the field, right? It's one of the reasons that, that that's effective, that Stephen A., I presume, likes that idea. The fact of the matter is the Browns are 12th in the league time of possession. So they're good and the run defense works. They're, you know, trending toward top third. But Pittsburgh's better than that. The Bills are better than that. Pittsburgh does it by simulating a run game because they get no run blocking with those quick short passes, right? The bottom line is the effect is the same. They possess the ball for more than the other team. That's the key to beating the Chiefs. That's where the run game is relevant. And, guys, to tell you the truth, I don't think just the run game is enough for the Browns. I don't think their quarterback is Josh Allen, for example. I'd rather have Josh Allen than Baker Mayfield. I don't think their defense is all world. I don't think they represent the biggest threat to the Chiefs. <clears throat> yeah, like, I agree, Max. I, you know, for me, the, you know, the past few weeks is – you know, I've come to, come to the conclusion that the Buffalo Bills are, are the biggest challengers uh, to the Kansas City Chiefs. And, and, uh, and the primary reason is the quarterback. You know, when you look at Josh Allen, look at, look at, look at all what, what the detractors said about Josh Allen, you know, over, his, over the first couple of years was he's inaccurate. You know, he just, you know, he, he has a tendency to turn the ball over. Then we move into year three of Josh Allen, and boy, what a, what a big year this has been for Josh Allen, the jump that he's made, the moves that the, that the Buffalo Bills front office made to really um, accelerate his learning curve and, and his ability to make plays uh, in that offense. Bringing over Stephon Diggs has just been a godsend for, for Josh Allen, and, and we can see with the Buffalo Bills, particularly in the offense, they can beat you in many, many different ways. They have a, skill, uh, a group of skill skill wide receivers that can beat you beat you man to man cover they can beat beat zone coverage they can do all the things necessary uh, to score a bunch of points in and, and and like you said max when you look at the buffalo bills you know it's not about rushing you know not about rushing the football i know what stephen a is talking about when he's talking about running the football possessing the clock and all that but ultimately at the end of the day you got to have difference makers you have to have guys particularly at the quarterback position that can make those special type of plays in order to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Kansas City Chiefs. Josh Allen's the type of guy that can do that. He can beat you within the pocket. He definitely can make those special plays outside the pocket. And to me, that's when he's at his best. He's at his best outside the and pocket because he has the arm strength to get the ball down the field and make those special type of plays that only we see from a couple guys, Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes. And I think when you get to the postseason – those special Deshaun type Watson. of players, those are the guys that make the biggest difference in the postseason. That's why I think the Buffalo Bills are the chief contenders for uh, against the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, here's where I disagree. First of all, let's understand what the question is here. It's about the Browns and being a legit threat to the Chiefs. I respect what I'm seeing from the Buffalo Bills. McDermott can really, really coach. I love what I'm seeing in terms of the ascension of Josh Allen, who's completed about 68% of his passes. I think he's got like 28 touchdowns, just nine interceptions. He's been incredibly impressive. But they also have Stephon Diggs, who's been a stud, which means they're going to want to throw the football, mm -hmm. which means that at some point in time, they're going to try to get some semblance of a shootout <laughs> with the Kansas City Chiefs. They went against them earlier this season and we saw how that worked out. What I'm saying is that based on history, and I can go by history, Damien, and do it this way, okay? What I'm saying is, and I've said this to Max on many, many occasions, particularly as the season wanes, then you take into account the likelihood that the game would be at Arrowhead Stadium 
or even if it was Cleveland off of Lake Erie. What I'm talking about is, number one, keeping Patrick Mahomes off the field, and number two, understanding what two things travel with you. It's a defense and it's a running game. And when you look at Devin Singletary, even though the brother can ball, he's averaging over four yards a carry, and I got mad respect for him. We understand that Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt are on, are on another level. Kareem Hunt can catch passes out of the backfield as well as throw the, as well as run the football. And Nick Chubb is just a stud. So when we talk about literally having a chance to keep Patrick Mahomes off the field, to keep that offense relatively out of rhythm, you're good. In order to do that, you're going to need to run the football effectively. The one thing that we know for sure Cleveland well, can do not necessarily. is that. And that's what I'm saying. Not necessarily, Stephen A. It's time of possession. Like, you're talking about the run game, not in terms of, hey, you want to exploit some team because they have bad run defense. You're talking about possess the ball, you know, and control the clock, right? And so you keep Mahomes off the field that way. The Bills and the Steelers have better time of possession than the Browns. You know, the Steelers with those little quick passes not from Roethlis Roethlisberger, and the Bills are just a well-balanced, just kind of a, a well-balanced team. I, I know we're talking about the Browns. Why is that? Because you know that when Stefanski first took over the job, it took him weeks to get Baker Mayfield within the flow. You're Fair trying enough. to not squash his development and his confidence, so you can't go by that because they were trying to do different things in Cleveland to get to this point. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.